most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. And we have big heads, so. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about top three signs your back pain is actually coming from facet joint syndrome. What a mouthful that's, that yeah, is. That's yeah, that's facet joint syndrome. Well, let's talk about what facets are. Okay, you have your back and the bones stack up to make your back. Well, at each level of the bone, the vertebrae, on the back, you wanna come on up here, Brad? I do. Your, your pen, Bonnie? Pretty good right there. Now, one thing I want to say, because we're going all over the world, there are parts of the world where they'll pronounce this facets. Okay. And not facets. Fascinating. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's serious. I know it's uh, like from uh, Australia, those people may. The facets, there's one, or facets are on each side of the, the, the bony prominence here, the spina, spinous right. process. So they're like a joint. Right. I mean, it's just like a knee joint. It is a joint, yeah. Yeah, so you have two knee joints on every back joint, basically. <laughs> now you're confusing me, Bob. Yeah. Let, let's, let's flex this so they yeah. can see how they, like right here, the, this probably never, op this happens in your back where the facet Hopefully it joint. never happens that much. Yeah, that much. But you can see the, here's the articulating surface here where the, where the bones rub together. There's cartilage in there. There's snowville fluid and there's a capsule. Everything that makes it goes joint. around it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the thing is this joint, just like any other joint can get arthritis. Sure. And that's the problem. Yep. So you can see if you stand and you jam those joints together, that makes the arthritis feel worse. This separates the joints and takes pressure off them. And you'll see in a minute, that's why you can diagnose this by some of the tests we're doing. Sure. Here. So this all makes sense in a minute. All right, so the first thing, the signs is, that, you know, that you're, you're, it is facet joint uh, syndrome is first off, it's gonna be better sitting because when you sit, those joints separate a little bit, they're not jamming together. Right. It's gonna be worse with walking, tends right. to be. So if your back pain's worse with walking, and worse with standing, just right. prolonged standing. Or are we gonna go into the... We'll do that next. Okay. Because the, the thing, what also tends to be better, is we have it called shopping cart syndrome. You feel a lot better when you're leaning on a shopping cart or leaning on something on a walker right. when you're bent forward. Yep. Because again, the joints are being separated. Now, yeah, let's show the test, Brad. Okay. So, as you, if you're getting the, the mechanics of this, you, you know that this feels better typically, but this feels worse. And the location of the pain is typically more pinpoint. Right. Okay. So if you if you go back like this, you can also go off to that side, and that even jams it even more. Right. So let's say you're having pain on the right side. Sure. If you go back and to the right, and that makes it worse, mm. yep. we're starting to think that it might be the facet syndrome, the facet joint syndrome. If it's over here, you go back and to that side, hurts here, it may again be the facet joint syndrome. Now, what about if you do this, and you get pain there, but it also runs down your leg. And that's number three, the number three thing you're looking at. These are the same things that you'll find with spinal stenosis. Sure. With spinal stenosis, all the things we just talked about will have the same result, except with spinal stenosis, it's gonna go all the way down the leg. Right, you're pinching a nerve. Yeah, sometimes it goes down both legs. Sure, and, yeah. But with this, it tends to be more pinpoint. The, the, the location of the pain is gonna be localized, and right here, I have a patient right now that has it. Okay. It just sticks right there. Sure, And yep. the other thing that this, this is gonna happen mostly in people who are older. This is not gonna, this is very unlikely to happen in the 20 year old, right. maybe even 30. Yeah. People who are starting to get pretty severe arthritis, that's, that they're gonna be more likely. More common. And if you have arthritis and other, arthritis and other joints, you're more likely to have it in your back. Sure. So if you have bad arthritis in your knees, that may be facet joint syndrome. Sure. So, um, but happy days are here, Brad, because uh, <laughs> on the next video, we're gonna actually gonna show you some exercises you can do for facet joint syndrome. And um, we're gonna make sure yeah, we, we better get going because they're waiting for the next video. All right, Bob. let's go. Cool.